there is a very, very, very big, large price gap between um, a violin, a cheap violin or an expensive violin. So you have a great gap between a silver flute or a modern flute. And you can find a very cheap one and you can find very expensive. It doesn't matter whether it's made out of silver or nickel, the price gap is fairly large. But in Baroque flute, you don't have that. And I thought that the answer is because in the Baroque flute, there is the element of artistical qualities. And also in the Baroque flute, you have the inner bores, the, the, the undercutting, you have the undercutting of individual holes and the embouchure hole that you have to manually, like by hand, you have to do it. You cannot print it or you can't machine make it. It takes, uh, well, it takes like uh, handcrafted qualities in order to make it precisely and make it um, accurate in terms of the pitch. And that's why basically, if you're capable of making a Baroque flute, you're immediately stands with the best makers. <laughs> of course, that the, the better maker you become, the more known you are, you're more, ad you're adapting yourself to uh, higher overtones and a, a better speech and other qualities or, or also the appearance of the instruments by itself. So I'm so proud to say that I, I am in that industry because there is the element of, of quiet that you know that you're in the industry that will never go into the machine made instruments. And that is something that I think resonant strong with me and the people that I'm in touch with regarding to music and art and other things. It's basically like that also in, in paintings. I have a friend that is for a long time, he's telling me that he's worried about this, this um, artificial intelligent programs or applications that you can, you can say what you want to be designed and the machine will design it for you exactly according to what you want. And he started to say, listen, I am a painter. I make, I make portraits and I'm afraid that my industry will collapse. So I have, I've been thought, thinking about that for a long time and it, it doesn't seem to me as realistic as it is, as, as it sounds, because you will always have brilliant innovators. Computer cannot do that. Computer cannot innovate idea. You have to explain to the computer what you want your innovation to, to look like. So this, this is one reason. And the other reason is the spirit. When you have, when you have handmade things, you cannot compare it to a machine made things because there is some quality of the spiritual part of the artist seeps inside his projects. I was told a long time ago by my father, by my late father, that one of the artists was, before he, he used uh, his brush for painting, he used to put it in his mouth, you know, just lick it in his mouth. And so he's combining part of himself in the painting. And I thought that it's a very, uh, a very cute idea, but the more that I'm working with art and producing Baroque flutes, the more that I am certain that the spirit and the innovative ideas will always be sustainable because it, it, it can only be, comes out from a spiritual being like human beings and no AI machinery can can uh, duplicate that. Thank you very much for listening. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, for future videos that I'm making. God bless you all.